All right, let's talk about your home network. Today, we're going to go deep on how to make it practically bulletproof. We're aiming for ultimate reliability and privacy by fixing one of the most common but overlooked points of failure. So let me just ask you this. Sink back to the last time your internet just died. No warning. You're just staring at that little spinning wheel. You're rebooting your router for what feels like the 10th time. What do you think is actually going on? What's the most common culprit for that sudden infuriating outage? Well, you might be surprised to hear this, but a huge amount of the time, the silent killer of your connection is your DNS. You know, it's basically the internet's phone book. And if the phone book is broken or slow, it doesn't matter how fast your connection is, nothing's gonna load. And that brings us to the whole vision behind this explainer. We're talking about a serious, professional-grade upgrade for your home. Look, this isn't just about tinkering for the fun of it. The idea here is to build a small-scale, enterprise-level DNS system right inside your house. We're going to start treating your home network like the mission-critical infrastructure that it's become, right? I mean, especially if you work from home or you run any of your own services. But I know what you might be thinking. Isn't this a little overkill? It's a fair question. So let's get right to the good part, the payoff. Why would you even bother with a setup this complex? This right here is the whole reason we're doing this. There are four massive wins. First up, reliability. We're talking automatic failover. If one of your DNS servers hiccups, the other one just takes over instantly. You won't even notice. Your internet just stays on. Then there's privacy, and this is a big one. You can completely stop big tech companies from tracking every site you visit and even hide your browsing habits from your own internet provider. Third, you get total control. You can block ads and trackers for every single device on your network, and you can see exactly what your smart TV or your phone is really up to behind the scenes. And finally, you're future-proofing. You're building a rock-solid foundation that can handle whatever you decide to do with your network down the line. Okay, so how in the world do we pull this off? Well, let's meet the key players in our DNS dream team. Think of them as a crew of specialists, and each one has a very, very specific job. First on the team is Pi Hole. This is your network's security guard or maybe it's Bouncer. It stands at the front door of your network and acts as the first line of defense. Its entire job is to block ads, trackers, and nasty domains before they even get a chance to load on your computer or your phone. Next, we've got Unbound. This is our private detective. Now, instead of just asking a public service like Google's DNS where to go, Unbound does the legwork itself. It goes straight to the internet's authoritative root servers to find the answer. This cuts out the middleman, which is a massive boost for your privacy. Then we have Keep Alive. You can think of this as the backup generator. And this is the absolute magic behind the insane reliability. It creates one single virtual IP address that floats between our two DNS servers. If the primary one goes offline for any reason, an update, a crash, whatever, Keep Alive instantly flips all the traffic over to the backup. Seamlessly, no downtime. And the final player in our setup is a VPN. This is our encrypted tunnel. This adds the ultimate layer of privacy by wrapping up all your network traffic, especially those DNS queries from Unbound, in a layer of rock solid encryption. With this, not even your internet service provider can see where you're going online. Okay, so we've met the whole crew. Now let's put it all together and see how they work as a team to handle every single request that leaves your network. It's actually a pretty elegant flow. So here's the whole journey, start to finish. Step one, your laptop or phone wants to go to a website. Simple enough. Step two, your router, instead of sending it out to the internet, points it to that special shared IP address that Keep Alive is managing. Step three, the currently active Pi Hole grabs that request, checks it against its block lists, and strips out any ads or trackers. Next, in step four, Pi Hole forwards that now clean request to our private detective, Unbound, which then goes out and finds the real IP address through that secure VPN tunnel. And finally, step five, the answer zips all the way back and your device connects. It's fast, it's private, and it's incredibly resilient. Now, I know this all sounds fantastic, maybe even a little too good to be true. So let's pump the brakes for just a second and have a quick reality check. Because look, a setup this powerful doesn't come for free it has some complexity. You gotta think about the hardware itself. Do you have reliable power? Is there enough cooling for the servers? And you have to actually test the failover to make sure it works when you need it most. Plus, if you're running two pie holes, you have to find a way to keep their settings and their block lists synced up. It's definitely a commitment. And let's be totally honest, even with all of this amazing redundancy, you can't eliminate every single point of failure. 
The person who originally built the setup said it perfectly. Yes, my router is a single point of failure. And that's a key takeaway. No home lab is ever going to be perfect. But the goal here is to drastically, massively reduce the odds of an outage. So really, this is the fundamental trade-off we're looking at. On one hand, you have the typical home setup. Yeah, it's super simple, low complexity, but you get low reliability and basically zero privacy. On the other hand, you have this redundant DNS stack. The complexity is way higher, for sure. But look at the payoff. Sky-high reliability, maximum privacy, and fine-grained control over every packet on your network. So, what's the verdict here? Is this for everybody? No, probably not. But if you're a remote worker who literally cannot afford for your internet to go down, or if you're a home lab enthusiast who just loves to build robust things, or really, if you're anyone who truly values privacy and control in our digital world, then the effort is, without a doubt, worth it. And that really just leaves us with one final question for you to think about. Take a hard look at how you use the internet every single day, and then ask yourself this. Is your home network just a convenience, or has it actually become mission critical?